Hey y'all, thanks for coming to watch the video here today. Hopefully I can help you out with the challenge if you're stuck on it. I'm going to teach you how to actually get the tin can. Um, and no, it's not clickbait, I just finally figured it out. And hopefully if some of you are struggling, this can help you out too. So in this video, you're going to see me visit about 43 different fishing spots trying to get this stupid tin can. Which I was finally able to get at the end of it. Where the hell is this tin can, you ask? Well, I hope to answer that by the end of the video here. This video shows me going to about 43 different fishing spots trying to get this tin can. Um, I'm estimating a total of 16 matches probably spent on this. Um, and about 21 fish a match, which is about 336 fish and guns that I got out of fishing spots. And so by this point, I was getting really frustrated and not being able to figure out why I can't get a stupid tin can out of one of these fishing spots, right? So we, before we get to the secret on how I got this tin can finally and where to get it, um, I'm just going to kind of go through a couple things while you're watching me go through all these fishing spots on where I fished. So at first I started landing at Weeping Woods because you can go in the shed where there's uh, the upgrade bench and in there there's always a spawn of fishing poles and sometimes a harpoon gun if you, um, if you break down the bin that they're in. So I would start here in Weeping Woods and work my way up the river because um, there was a lot of fishing spots along there and then you could fish around the agency too and that seemed to work pretty well with the storm circle. Then what I finally ended up doing here at some point is landing at the agency because I figured out that there was a spawn again of the fishing uh, fishing poles um, by that building that you can kind of see in front there and that spawned every single time. So although the agency is kind of a risky place to land because of the amount of players that are there, um, you could travel downstream once you were um, done with all the fishing spots around the agency and it actually ended up being a lot quicker and I was able to cover uh, more places as long as I could not die. So if you want to go ahead and skip to about 4 minutes and 45 seconds and skip the rest of me fishing, that's totally fine. That's going to be the next time I'm going to be talking and uh, we'll let you know how I got the tin can finally. So at this point here, I'm working my way up towards Pleasant um, and actually going downstream. When you swim downstream too, you can kind of look underwater and see where the fishing spots are a little bit easier, especially when you're in a boat. So I started kind of pulling out some weird stuff, like a small fry, and I didn't realize that I actually missed the fishing spot to get that, and that's kind of when I had this aha moment of, wait a second, 
you can get stuff not in fishing spots. I've spent all this time in fishing spots. Maybe that's my problem. So after I get the fish out of here, I start casting out in the water. I pull out some ammo. I pull out some weird stuff. And I was like, oh my gosh, this has got to be it. So to get the tin can, what you need to do is not cast in fishing spots. Don't cast in fishing spots. All you can catch there are uh, floppers, slurpfish, and weapons. And as you can see, I finally got the thing. It took me... I don't even know how many hours to figure out and I couldn't find anyone else that had the solution. So hopefully this helps guys.